guys. Morning. I'm at Max 102.3 FM. I'm Dr. Mirbola Savage, and we're here to meet with Shine. We talk about all things aesthetic treatments. So come on, with me, guys. Mask. Morning. Everything that has to do with beauty and i've got an expert in the building today we're going to be talking demo fillers and botox ladies and gentlemen meet dr mobola savage hey hi guys <laughs> my name is dr mobola savage from laser Dem clinics nigeria oh. and i'm happy to be on max 102.3 fm like us awesome <laughs> All right, guys, so you already know. If you want to know any everything and anything about Botox and fillers, then you better tune in. It's supposed to just have that muscle relaxation. Typically. Oh, okay. So what about fillers? So fillers is completely different. Sometimes okay. people try to like um, mistake one for the other one. Mm -hmm. But then the fillers literally is just the way you hear car fillers, technically. What okay. it does is to actually add volume to oh, an area that okay. has actually experienced loss uh, okay. so typical areas you find mm -hmm. where you have loss of volume would be those areas around your mouth mm -hmm. the nasolabial fold so that's the region go through medical school oh mm -hmm. nice okay so is demo filler treatment is it permanent so demo fillers are literally temporary okay so like for how long is it a year three months two months like so depending on the choice of the um, product of the demo filler, okay. then that would actually determine how long it would last typically. Oh. So for instance, the commonest one would okay. be the one with hyaluronic acid. Yes, because our body actually produces it. So I did a bit exactly. of study. <laughs> So, so I hear that as you get older, right, mm -hmm. and you, you, you get to it's that draining mm -hmm. of little by little. So people yeah. just want to fill it back up mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So where you have less of volume, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. then you have creases just around your nasolabial fold. Mm -hmm. The fill is coming, and then the typical ones that is being used by most aesthetic doctors would be the one with hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. So typically for most patients, um, you would get really maximum benefits mm -hmm. that would last at least between three to six months or three to 18 months depending mm. now the people who would get more value for demo fillers would be those who probably don't have a very active lifestyle so maybe people who are not very active or who don't do a lot of sports talking and things like that, ah, that, that, so, that so indirectly <laughs> you're telling me don't even go there no, because, no, 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 no. because i work out a lot right mm -hmm. i do a lot of workout like i'm extremely active mm -hmm. so and um, okay okay i i I, don't, I haven't seen any wrinkles or anything, mm -hmm. but it, like, is it okay? You're a doctor now, and I say, okay, you know what? I just want to have this thing just for the fun of it, just to boost my ego. Because, you know, there, there are lots of women out there mm -hmm. that they're all right, but they want more. Mm -hmm. So is that okay? Or they, they need to, you know, um, go see your doctor first and say, you know what? Is this thing okay for me? I want to try it. Is it fine? Can I go with it? Basically. Okay, great question. So... For the fun of it, mm -hmm. having a treatment, an aesthetic treatment for the fun of it, I won't necessarily advise that. Oh. But if having an um, aesthetic treatment for the purpose of enhancing your beautiful body already, mm -hmm. then that's a go-go, literally. So most people actually make the mistake of the fact that, oh, I have to turn 50 before I start to do all these treatments. Okay. Now bear at the back of your mind that Botox and Demophilias are anti-aging in nature. So okay. literally what they do for you is, they don't make you age exponentially once you start to get to a certain age. We call people would say, oh, when you're 30, you just start to age yeah, yeah. exponentially, literally. But once you start to have this treatment, at least in your late 20s, mm -hmm. you're able to age more linearly. 
and nobody can actually tell you. Well, you know, this is Nigeria now. Like, how many people who got me their prayers and say, ah, I want to do Botox and demo fillers at age 20? Don't you fuck you out of here. Like, come on, get shocked. Yes, yes. What? Are you serious? You would be shocked. I mean, now it's a question of the fact that understanding that aesthetic treatment, mm. while it's a doctor who administers such anti aging treatments mm -hmm. like Botox and demo fillers, mm -hmm. or maybe, of course, like a, a nurse prescriber, basically. Mm. Um, it's still an elective and then people want to feel beautiful so there is that um, there is that feeling good part of things basically I mean everyone wants to have a better version of themselves outside so. okay you know because some people actually think both do it so it means if you just feel like you want to enhance and you can afford it mm -hmm. is that, that that basically that's it absolutely absolutely it's just the way you would decide and say you know what i'm gonna have just broccoli and things like that i'm mm. gonna eat more healthy that's mm. the same way it is with having this beauty treatment and saying at this point here i want to start using vitamin c serum mm. or i want to start doing this thing so it's all part of the beauty process all right so you know what we'll, we'll be right back and we're going to talk about meats uh, the meats I get with Botox and fillers. Number one is cultural. I mean, we're a multicultural cultural, um, region, literally. Yeah. And then people say, oh my goodness, it's not good to just alter any part of your body. Mm. That's how God says it should be. Mm. That's a myth. Mm. Thinking that you're just supposed to allow yourself and allow age to catch up on you without enhancing anything is one very popular myth. Mm. Another one that I get often is the fact that they say, hey, but doctor, when I start the Botox or demo fillers and I don't have many again and I stop it, it just means that my whole face is going to scatter. <laughs> it's going to be worse than it was before. Well, yeah, and yeah. I'm correct that, that it's just a myth. It's just literally. a myth. Uh. So what happens is it's not because your face gets worse. It's because you're actually already used to that compliment of you looking younger, you looking mm. very refreshed. Yeah. And then suddenly you don't have that going on anymore. Uh, and then you look into the mirror. You feel like, older. Ah, the volume. Mm. You you just feel different. Yeah. And then that difference it's is what motivates most people to actually come back. So okay. so it takes us to the third meet being mm. that, oh my goodness, once you start, you can't can stop. stop. You just get obsessed with it. Mm. And then the analogy And then you go broke. Uh, it, well, it's just <laughs> broke is it, it's very relative trust me i mean it's it's personalized for different individuals some yeah. of you have like millions in the mm. account they say i'm broke mm. so <laughs> yeah true true <laughs> broke is relative for individual but so, what we're gonna do now right we're just gonna um pick up calls so mm -hmm. if you have any questions to ask dr uh, Mobola Savage that has to do with Botox and fillers. You can call us up on 0809-7818573 or 091-3895-8661. All right, so call us up. We're discussing Botox and fillers right here on Beauty and the Tips. All right, so you were saying so Botox is not an alternative to facelift. So Botox typically is intramuscular, meaning that it's supposed to cause like a temporal muscle paralysis okay. to um, to resolve wrinkles and okay.